Hey Dumplings, it's Dave Desai. Welcome back to my channel. Today I want to talk about Lisa and Jungkook. We have Lisa not being represented in the group and Blinks are just not having it. Where is Lisa? Where is she gone? And this is 100% understandable. I understand why Blinks are upset. I do believe Blinks have a right to be upset. This isn't Lisa's fault, of course. This is just her being treated unfairly. What's new? We also have Jungkook who came out and apologized and addressed everything on a live stream. I definitely wanted to sit here and talk about that. How I feel about the apology, all of that. I mean, was it really necessary? Let's get into the tea. I'm ready for for it. If you're new here and you're interested in this type of stuff, please make sure you hit the subscribe button and that notification bell to so be notified anytime a new video drops. And if you're a hater, like to be the first to leave your hate comment, please make sure you hit the subscribe button and that notification bell also so you can be the first to do so. Now, let's jump into it. The first thing I want to address is the recent stuff going on with Blackpink. First off, there is a recent comeback if you didn't know. We're kind of all just waiting for the day they officially drop their first music video. Their comeback definitely seems to be in the works, but I won't get my hopes up too high on this one because you know how things go. I'm very excited to see Sour Candy and listen to it, have that to listen to. Let me know if you would like a full video maybe reviewing Sour Candy or possibly reviewing the album when that drops. I think that could be interesting. I do like the song. I think it's interesting for Gaga because Gaga's trying to go for this kind of new sound. If it's very well for Blackpink, if it's very well for Gaga, great collaboration. But I didn't feel like YG promoted that song much at all. And especially after Blackpink not being in the spotlight for such a long time, YG, you'll need to push them a little bit more. Some serious promotion definitely needs to be done. But anywho, enough on that. Let's talk about what you guys are here for, the tea on Lisa. There was this brand recently. I think this was a Korean brand. It looks like a hair bleaching or kind of coloring type of brand. I want to clarify that this video is just kind of seeing the reactions among the Blink community, what they have been tweeting about their thoughts and their theories and then my thoughts on what's been going on in general. I think it's interesting that Blackpink did this ad. I don't feel like Blackpink bleaches their hair too much or bleaches their hair kind of obscene colors. The colors that they do bleach are very natural, similar to what the brand sells. I'm very glad to hear that a brand decided to use Blackpink and decide to kind of push their face more out there. Because if their faces get out there, they'll stay relevant for longer. Especially since they haven't put out music for such a long time, this is definitely a really good choice. It helps get their name out there, their faces, all of that stuff. Like people who maybe forgot about them are now going to see their faces again. And be like, oh my god, Lisa, I wonder if she released a new song or something. And then look them up. Now the issue a lot of Blinks were having with this specifically, or this advertisement specifically, is that the initial advertisement allegedly looked like this. As you can see, Jenny is there, she's in the center. I mean, with a lot of advertisements, Jenny's usually in the center. Then we have Jisoo and Rosé kind of in the back, and then more Jenny in the back as well. But Lisa is gone. There's definitely enough space for Lisa to be there, but she is not there. Jenny and Jisoo, however, did appear twice. So I definitely didn't understand this at first. I mean, Lisa is very pretty. I don't know why this will happen but I do have theories that I will get into. I didn't understand why her face would have been gone and not be considered part of Blackpink because essentially you're excluding a specific member. Of course, a lot of Blinks were angry about this because if you're a Blink, you support all four girls. Blink started using the hashtag on Twitter, no Lisa, no money, kind of boycotting the brand, if you will. You'll start seeing tweets like this. Have you heard that Lisa doesn't appear in advertise? Please treat all four members of Blackpink better. No Lisa, no money. The frustration is real, guys. Because when this happened, this wasn't the first time that Lisa was left out. And I'm not talking about this brand specifically because I don't know if they've worked with this brand before. There was an ad I believe that was taking place way back in 2019. I think this was a different brand. I'm not sure, but I believe this was not the same brand. And people were very upset about it because, well, the advertisement looked like this. It was on the storefront. Everyone could see what was going on. As you can see, Lisa's not there. Everyone gets a window. Lisa just ain't there. Initially, I looked at it and I was like, well, I mean, how would you put Lisa on here anyway? Like, there's not enough windows. Like, how would they fix it? But the marketing team actually did come out and actually end up fixing it. And and then they ended up doing this. They sure changed that poster real quick. They basically just crammed all the members into two windows instead of having each of them have their own window. They had all four members there, which is a very good solution. I think Blinks would be happy with this solution. I enjoy this a lot better. It's definitely important to give each member their own moment by giving them a window, but it's definitely more important to make sure all the members are there before giving each member their moment. You know what I mean? But also, couldn't you have put Lisa like in the door or something? But anyway, the hair brand that I mentioned earlier ended up doing this. This was kind of to fix the situation. I don't know specifically if they went ahead and asked Lisa to redo a shoot for another product just so that they can then add her face into the advertisement or was the picture already shot before and then they just added it to the advertisement because if they had the product already I don't know why they wouldn't put her initially in the ad let's just say for example you don't like Lisa like she's not your favorite but Lisa clearly has her own fan base I mean this is very obvious if you go on to her Instagram or whatever you'll see all the followers she has so even if you don't like her if you remove a member you're removing a huge fan base from potentially buying that 
that product. You'd want that fan base to buy that product. Why would you take her out? They added this kind of ash cool color, and this is the one that Lisa ends up appearing and representing. That color really does suit her though. So now the ad kind of looks more like this. It's more inclusive. Everyone is in there. I'm just trying to think in perspective of the advertiser. Maybe they initially didn't want to promote cool ash. Like maybe it was their least popular color, and it just so happened that Lisa did that color. And so they only did the colors that were popular, and it just so happened that Lisa never modeled for a popular color. That's just my thoughts. It could be like that. I like to give people a chance, the benefit of the doubt, but I also understand a Blink's perspective of this. Because this is not the first time that this has happened. And since this has happened a lot with the members, not just with ads, with their career in general, Lisa and the other members of Blackpink have kind of been treated unfairly, if you will. And I can see why Blinks get protective and mad. It's like, why does my baby girl have this awful stuff happen to her all the time? Obviously, we want her to strive and do well. When the brand decided to update their product listing, they added more pictures of Lisa to their Instagram. The comment section of those Instagram pictures started filling up with no Lisa, no money. The thing about this that I understand is that the brand made it right. They updated the photo, they listened to what everyone was saying, and even adding more pictures on Instagram to better represent all of the members. And then it should be fine, right? The issue is resolved. You can, of course, keep complaining if you want to, but the no Lisa, no money makes zero sense right now because Lisa is, in fact, on there. If you still refuse to buy from the brand, that's your thing. Of course, I don't care. But I am glad that this got cleared up. And now we see Lisa part of Blackpink again. This is great because I'm sure Lisa is happy to see her face kind of everywhere again and being promoted and all over these ads. Ads are really a great way for celebrities to be on billboards, buses and all that stuff because they otherwise wouldn't be on billboards or buses unless they were promoting something. I've never seen an album commercial, if I'm gonna be honest. Not on TV and not really on billboards either. But that could just mean me, I could be wrong. I did actually remember seeing a TXT album though. That was it. I don't think I've seen others. There has been obviously some issues with Blackpink's comeback and the stuff that has been going on with them, but there's also been a lot of stuff going on with BTS, specifically at Jungkook. I think it's very interesting that a lot of the drama happening online revolves around the recent scandals that BTS have been in. There's a bunch of supporters, apparently, who are all for BTS, but the moment this scandal kind of broke out, they were like, bye, see ya, never knew ya. Nope, nope, Jungkook is a terrible person. Report, report, report. Report to who, baby girl? The police? He didn't break the law. So the scandal specifically involved Jungkook kind of going outside during the pandemic. He went out with some of his K-pop idol friends, People were more so upset, not that he went outside, but that he went outside with his friends because he wasn't maintaining, you know, the six feet social distancing thing. But it was confirmed that he was not in any infected areas or any areas that he would be in danger. And when he did kind of come home that night, he did end up getting tested and he was fine. So he took responsibility. He owned up to the situation. Big Hit then went out and apologized for it. But then netizens were upset that the apology didn't come from Jungkook specifically. First off, there's a few points here that I want to address. There's a reason why you should never put someone up to the standard standard that everyone puts Jungkook at, like godlike standard. No one, I mean no one, can live up to the standard that you guys put on Jungkook. And Jungkook knows that and he kills himself over that. He stresses over how he can't be as perfect as everyone says he is. Why must we put him in a standard where he's not allowed to make mistakes? Small ones, big ones, whatever it is, humans make mistakes, he's going to make tons more mistakes. This was a very small one, I don't believe it should have been that big of a deal. So Jungkook recently went on a radio interview, I believe the radio interview happened today, so earlier today. And for from what I'm seeing, he apparently was on the radio interview with Suga. Jungkook did mention the scandal. Let me read what he said. He wrote, It's been a long time since I greeted everyone and a very long time since I've been on the radio, so I'm very nervous. I did this radio show with Suga after a long time. It was very happy time talking to all of the armies who I've missed a lot. I was very nervous even before I started talking to you all. I think recently many people have been upset with me and their hearts have been hurt by my actions. I felt very sorry to those who have had difficulties with this current situation. Those who are working hard everywhere and to my BTS members, I also feel especially sorry to my beloved armies. As because of me, I think they've had a hard time, so my heart hurts too. I've been thinking deeply about myself recently. I talked a lot with the BTS members and I look back and reflect on, a lot on myself. I wanted to tell everyone personally through this live from now on, whenever and wherever, I will be more serious when thinking and doing things. I honestly think he shouldn't have even entertained this. He shouldn't have even addressed this. I think he honestly just should have kept going. However, I understand him wanting to address the hate, right? Because there's a lot of it. When you get hate, the only thing you can think of personally is addressing it. I in no way get the amount of hate that he does, so I can't understand to the full extent of the hate that he gets. But when I see hate on Twitter about me, it genuinely does hurt. And this is me being very real. This is behind the whole hit the subscribe button and leave a hate comment, all that stuff. I think a lot 
of people, because I say that, think that it doesn't bother me, but it's impossible for hate not to bother you. Just knowing that people out there hate me and I'm a people pleaser. And I know a lot of people completely misunderstand me and misunderstand my actions and what I do. I also never feel like there's a lot of people defending me. So sometimes I think that maybe the haters are right. So I don't read it. And when I do, I try very hard not to respond because that's the best thing you can do. The hate is often never well informed and always misunderstood. Just like in Jungkook's case, it's definitely not well understood because if it was well informed and they did their research before giving hate, wouldn't be hate, it would be constructive criticism. And that is always welcome, but it's never that. So keep doing you, Cookie. I'm going to stay here and continue to defend you and everything you do. I hope you cheer up next time and are more cheerier because you have a lot to accomplish. Let me know what you think about this. Let me know what your thoughts are. Leave it down in the comment section down below. Give this video a thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't already, and I'm featuring this comment right here. Thank you so much for letting me come. And as always, I do have a Patreon if you want to go over to my Patreon and kind of check that out. Anything you can contribute over there really does help me kind of make better videos on here, keep them going, all that stuff. So thank you so much for checking that out and contributing over there. It means the absolute world to me. Thank you so much for doing that. You can also get exclusive content over there, such as music video reactions, the ship reactions, performance reactions, all that stuff. I try to react to the latest songs on there. You can also request all that jazz. I'll leave a link in the description down below so you can check that out. There's also two videos that will appear up on screen at the end of this video. So make sure you click on one of those videos and I will see you over there. Bye. I'm